Hello guys, my name is Yan Ying. Welcome to my channel. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. And today we are talking about solo travel burnout. From traveling, huh? more often than not, what you usually see is the fun and exciting bits of traveling. But behind every solo traveler or budget traveler who tends to travel for a living and people who travel to keep their budget minimal, tend to experience this phase. And I had to admit that solo travel burnout happens to me as well. When I was taking my solo trip travel in United States for one month all by myself. And I remember when I was in 12 days in, that is when I feel like everything is tiring. Everything goes a bit off here and there. Although like the plans are in place, but it hasn't felt the best state of mind during my travel. To keep it in a plain context to understand why solo travel burnout happen and as to me personally, it happens when it involves a lot of planning, researching, budgeting, navigating all by myself. When you are a solo traveler, there will be times that you encounter a situation where you got lost and you need to look for someone to ask for directions to help you na navigate while you are busy on looking at other stuff. And apart from that, there's also the part where you have to do research at night after traveling to prepare for tomorrow's morning journey. Most of the time, you would like to utilize the most out of your entire day to cover as much places as possible. And starting your trip since the morning can greatly give you a huge time frame to go explore the places and to explore the town before the night comes. Besides that, it is not only the checkpoint of locations that you need to research into, there's more to just the checkpoint of the locations, which is how you want to navigate to that location by yourself, especially you wanted to maximize using public transport to keep your budget at minimal. Uber and Lyft will oftentimes break your budget bank and it is not recommended to use it all the time. And hence research comes in very handy to get you to one place to another. And traveling as a solo traveler gives you a burnout because when you go to nice places and amazing location, you wanted to share the good times, the good comments or the excitement of being there with someone like your family or your friends. And not being able to do that just means that you have to keep it all in your heart and prepare to tell them the next time you see them in person. And I could also tell that the burnout happened to me because I was covering so many places in 30 days that I actually went to seven states, which means an average location would take me three to four days to explore and some states even shorter. The constant feeling of needing to explore as much as possible in a day because you only have so limited days available during your travel, which kind of drives the whole scenario a bit intense and stressful. That is when I know that I need to have a rest day or a wind down day during my travel to just take it a bit more slowly. How I overcome the whole solo travel burnout scenario is that most importantly is to be forgiving to yourself and to know that it is okay to not be able to explore 300% of the location with 100% time. We can only do so much in the available time frame and always tell yourself that this place will summon you back for the second time and be forgiving to know that I will visit this place again next time to cover this spot and that spot. I feel like so many times people travel in the way that we think that that is our last trip at that spot over our entire lifetime but know that plane is a mean of travel and we can always go back to the same location anytime provided if you have the money uh, not to be sarcastic here but <laughs> that's how it works the next tip i would suggest is to remember to take a break a rest day off during your travel especially three to four days in your travel rest day can come in many forms and i would suggest doing it by staying in an airbnb where the place is completely all yours and you don't have to share it with anyone, don't have to do any socialize 
it is also a nicer environment to, to take a sleep in for the night. However, for the schedule of a rest day, I would recommend to take a chill stroll around the town, get good food at a fancy restaurant. Having good food and taking a chill stroll in town will greatly give you an energy boost and a spiritual boost because you, are, you know that you are not rushing to anywhere and you are also traveling by knowing what happens around in the local city. Remember that traveling is meant to be fun, exciting and relaxing and there's no point pushing yourself over boundaries for it. It should give you more cultural perspective and how one place works differ from another and also help you understand yourself better along the way. Traveling is not an internal race with yourself. If you like this video, please like and share as well as subscribe to my channel to show some love and support. And I'll see you again in the next video.